Exodus chapter 6. Then the Lord said unto Moses, Now shalt thou see what I will do to Pharaoh. For with a strong hand shall he let them go, and with a strong hand shall he drive them out of his land. And God spake unto Moses and said unto him, I am the Lord. And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, by the name of God Almighty, but my name Jehovah was I not known to them. And I have also established my covenant with them, to give them the land of Canaan, the land of their pilgrimage, wherein they were strangers. And I have also heard the groaning of the children of Israel, whom the Egyptians keep in bondage, and I have remembered my covenant. Wherefore say unto the children of Israel, I am the Lord, and I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians, and I will rid you out of their bondage, and I will redeem you with a stretched out arm and with great judgments, and I will take you to me for a people, and I will be to you a God, and ye shall know that I am the Lord your God, which bringeth you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians. And I will bring you in unto the land, concerning the which I did swear to give it to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. And I will give it to you for an heritage. I am the Lord. And Moses spake so unto the children of Israel, but they hearkened not unto Moses for anguish of spirit and for cruel bondage. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Go in, speak unto Pharaoh, king of, king of Egypt, that he let the children of Israel go out of his land. And Moses spake before the Lord, saying, Behold, the children of Israel have not hearkened unto me. How then shall Pharaoh hear me, who am of uncircumcised lips? And the Lord spake unto Moses and, and unto Aaron, and gave them a charge unto the children of Israel, and unto Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to bring the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. These be the heads of their fathers' houses, the sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, Hanok and Palu, Hezron and Carmi. These be the families of Reuben. And the sons of Simeon, Jemuel and Jamin and Ohad and Jashin and Zohar and Shaul, the son of a Canaanitish woman. These are the families of Simeon. And these are the names of the sons of Levi according to their generations, Jershon and Kohath and Merari, and the years of the life of Levi were one hundred thirty and seven years. The sons of Jershon, Libni and Shimei according to their families, and the sons of Kohath, Amram and Izhar and Hebron and Uziel, and the years of the life of Kohath were one hundred thirty and three years. And the sons of Merari, Mahali, and Mushi, these are the families of Levi according to their generations. And Amram took him, Jochebed, his father's sister, to wife, and she bare him Aaron and Moses. And the years of the life of Amram were an hundred and thirty and seven years. And the sons of Izhar, Korah, and Nephi, and Zikri, and the sons of Uziel, Mishael, and Evazian, and Ziri. And Aaron took him Elisheba, daughter of Ammonadab, sister of Neshadon, to wife. And she bare him Nadab, and Abihu, Eliezer, and Ithamar. And the sons of Korah, Aser, and Elkanah, and Abisaph, these are the families of the Korites. And Eliezer, Aaron's son, took him one of the daughters of Putiel to wife, and she bare him Phineas. These are the heads of the fathers of the Levites according to their families. These are that Aaron and Moses to whom the Lord said, Bring out the children of Israel from the land of Egypt according to their armies. These are they which spake to Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to bring out the children of Israel from Egypt. These are that Moses and Aaron. And it came to pass on the day when the Lord spake unto Moses in the land of Egypt, that the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, I am the Lord. Speak thou unto Pharaoh, king of Egypt, all that I say unto thee. And Moses said before the Lord, Behold, I am of uncircumcised lips, and how shall Pharaoh hearken unto me?